Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the middleweight bout between Andre Petrovsky versus Jacob Malcolm. And how do I feel about this one right here? Is I'm going low confidence on Andre Petrovsky to beat Jacob Malcolm. And I'm just going to go like stylistic match. I think at first I was leaning to Malcolm, but by no means was I leaning like high confidence or anything to either guy, but I was definitely leaning Malcolm earlier. But um, ultimately, I'm going to go Petrovsky, low confidence here. I feel Petrovsky should, on paper, be the better wrestler. You know, he has the wrestling background. You know, what is that? What is that? Like Australian? Australians can't wrestle for the state of their life. But, you know, he's, he's a seating well beyond what Australians should be able to wrestle like or whatever. New Zealand, wherever, he, wherever he's from. But wherever that region, that region that, whether it be Australia or New Zealand, wherever they may be, they ain't known for wrestling. But he's far exceeded that. He has solid, he's a solid grappler. But I think Petrovsky should be able to stuff his take down. Should be able to out wrestle him. My biggest issue with Petrovsky is cardio. But then I think with Petrovsky struggles in cardio, I feel like it's typically when a guy you know can press him on the feet or threaten him on the feet. So Malcolm hasn't really shown like he's kind of like he barely throws punches. Barely. He could throw some mean ground pound as he showed in his last fight. Okay, ground pound. If it was that mean, he wouldn't need to throw illegal elbows. I mean, what did he throw? Was it a illegal elbow? He do something. He did something illegal. I forgot. I think it was a knee, but whatever the case. If he was that good, he wouldn't need to throw illegal strength. But um, yeah. Stylistically wise, what I'm getting back to, I feel like Petrovsky should be the better wrestler. You know, he's a solid grappler. So grappling, I feel like BJJ should cancel out pretty much. It's not like Malcolm is really a finisher anyway with his grappling or his striking. So that big threat is not there as much. If anything, I feel like Malcolm's going to need to kind of come on later and just wear him down in the grappling and then start to get his takedowns and then just grind out a decision over him. But I feel like Petrovsky can, yeah. I feel Petrovsky will be able to, at the very least, cancel out the, the grappling or even that out and it'd be able to find strikes on the feet. And I think he um, knocks him out late first round. I think that's what he does. I think he's going to st stop the takedowns, you know, start to stalk him, stalk him down, and then start to line him up and be able to find that shot and get him out first round. By no means, I think he'll walk over. But I'm just saying, I feel like if Petros is going to win, or typically how he wins, he wins in the distance. And Malcolm has shown that he can be chinned. And he also has shown, you know, aversion to striking and not don't, don't look very comfortable when he's on the feet. And if Petros can counter that, um, and like nullify his wrestling and keep him on the feet, I think he can find his opportunities. Who knows? Maybe Malcolm's motivated by how he got, um, Petros got stopped last fight and he'll be a little bit more willing to strike. But we don't know. But what I'm leaning to is that Petrovsky can shut the wrestling down and keep it on feet or, you know, dictate whether he wants to keep it on feet or take it down. And he can probably look to keep it on feet and touch Malcolm on feet, you know, where he's least comfortable and get him out of there late first round. So in this one, I got Andre Petrovsky via first round TKO.